What up guys, this is Enigma from Void Griefing. This episode of Client Code Tutorial will be movement factors such as high jump, super speed and step pack. So we're going to make a free new booleans public static boolean and we'll start with speed. False. Public make sure you spell it right. Static boolean jump equals false. Public static boolean step equals false. Now that we've got that, we're going to go to our check keys and and then we're going to uh, do our draw string. So I'm just going to copy this. So first one is speed, and I like to use the key R for speed. Um, so speed, speed, and the next one is going to be jump, and we'll use. Have we got J bound to anything? I don't believe we do. No. So this one will be jump. Jump. Right, for the speed one, we don't actually have to edit really any code. All we need to do is just type a simple line of code in here. In fact, let's not type it in there. No, no, let's not. Um. Let's just do step and jump first. And step can be h. Uh, step. Step. Let me just um, include the draw strings. Speed. Jump. And step speed R jump J H just call it speed. Um, we'll set that to 110, 120, 130. Auto step. Auto step just means you can walk up one block at a time. Jump, uh, high, jump, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this, paste it here, except I'm going to take away the exclamation mark, you should already know how to do this anyway, so if you don't then that's not a problem, maybe if you watch my other tutorials you'll learn. On, on. Wait, so we've got our um things. So what we're going to do is we've got to go to search, and what we're going to type in is land, land, movement factor, and we're going to find the default value. Well, hmm. mc dot that player dot Right, so let's go to speed here and we're going to say mc dot the player dot land movement factor um equals I wouldn't recommend going over 1.1f because that's a bit too far. I like to go 1.05f, that is still a really fast speed. So if I just show you this quickly, this is our super speed, it's really simple. It should auto reset itself to its default value when you turn it off anyway, so if it does then then we'll find out why. But I have all faith in it. Um and this is just a message to G DGS Griefen if you're watching uh this video. Um I will I will basically finish off this client in the next couple of tutorials and I'll edit it and then I'll give you it because I don't I actually started coding on our client but um yeah so if I just turn down my I was going to say I'll turn down my settings but there you go you can see it works fine it's just because I'm recording it's a bit laggy but 
but if I turn on super speed, you can see it's really fast. Or is it? Yeah, that's quite fast. You can turn it up higher if you like. It's completely up to you. Um, but you can see the field of view increases massively, and your speed is also increased massively. Right, so that's speed. Um, maybe if we just change that to one point one f. That's cool. That's super. That's a super good speed. Um, now what we want to do is we want to go into client source and dot minecraft dot src and we want to find entity living. Entity living 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 right there. What we're going to find first is step or jump. Sorry. Protected void jump. Um, protected void jump. Right, so let's go here. What we're going to do is we're going to say f mods dot jump. We're going to say we're going to copy this. We're going to paste it in here, except we're going to give it a modifier, um, and we're going to times it by some sort of value. So I'm going to say three because remember this is a it's a double so. Let's try four, and then we're going to say else. Go cut that, and we're going to put that in now. So now, if we try jump, it should work fine. Um, we'll also maybe do a uh, claim. Yeah, we might do a claim if we've got time, which we probably can because we've only been seven minutes recording. Now I'm going really fast in these tutorials, it shouldn't be too hard to keep up, I will like, use the editing in Camtasia and I will make it even more clear where to go. And if I think if something's unclear then I'll correct it. But, if we turn on jump, whoa! That is... That's not supposed to happen. Not for chickens at least. <laughs> Don't worry, that won't happen in multiplayer. Don't worry, not everybody will be jumping around at that height in multiplayer. Um, I think I know how to fix that rather. MC dot the player motion. No, that's not working. Let's just try motion Y instead of using the F or this. Um, because this means like. Like that, instead of actual the internal variables, that actually like means like the whole the whole world would be jumping at that height. Not too useful if you've got a um a farm full of animals that's jumping around. Not too useful. <laughs> we just killed ourselves. Okay. Right, let's see, is any animals jumping around? It appears so. <laughs> yeah, you might want to decrease this anyway to jump height. In fact, let's just get rid of this. Let's try something else. Is on ladder. What we want to do is what I say is on ladder, and um, we need to add our boolean. 
we call it claim or spider whatever claim we'll make a check key we'll make our draw strings claim we'll use the word the letter C claim change it to 140 and same thing just up here C equals claim and that will be 140 check key for C and then we're done check key for C C equals claim claim see it doesn't recognize that because that's not a fact of it is it's just glitching um, right now we've got that so we've got to say sorry it's not that it's F Mods dot claim return true else and we're going to put all this in our else statement. Now if we try that it should work. We'll also test out some of the other things we just made. Right. I might do an, a proper GUI tutorial soon as well. Because you can see um, our menu is getting pretty full. Um, there you go. You turn climb on, you can climb anything. You can see there's no vines. They can also make you float down as well. So that's quite cool. Wee. Um You can see You can see we'll be able to claim this just fine. Through a problem. I did notice that typo. It says claim with a capital K L. Now let's try step mode. Turn step on and it doesn't work. How odd. Also, same F step is enabled then mc dot the player dot step height equals one f and if we just save that then that should work fine <coughs> in fact you know what why that doesn't work because I think it's in here we have to edit that step no, it's not. Well, let's try it now. It should work, hopefully. I had this problem with the last client. I, I made it's this step never worked properly for some reason. But there you go. It works now. I'm not jumping. It's just walking right up the block. So you can see I'm sprinting right up. And if we turn it off, hopefully it should disable itself, which it doesn't. Which is an R problem we had. But I know how to disable. I know how to find it. Place. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this. This if exclamation mark monster step. We're just going to paste it right under here. Except we're going to take out the draw string and we're just going to say mc dot the player dot step height is equal to zero point five f. Right now, with all hope and 
stuff besides um I'll probably cut out all that messing around because I just realised that that like the only way we can talk up actually allow the the height to be reset is if we bring up the menu. But hopefully it should be fixed now. Right, so can't walk up. Now we can walk up. Disable it. No, we can't. There we go. All fixed. Um, sorry for all that messing around and figuring it out. I just realised that that's, that was a mistake in my behalf. But um, I'll cut it out anyway, so you don't have to watch that. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.